basic uh, questions. So mainly students want to understand in brief that how the exam pattern is going to be. Uh, so I believe that institute has already released uh, an exam pattern recently for every paper along with the answers and what is supposed to be the answer. So what we are attempting is whatever is given in that exam pattern shall be the exam pattern for the online examination. Now, the basic shift that we see from the previous online exam to the current online exam is that reduction in number of objective questions, A, B, C, D type, correct? So last year, let's take it as an exception, correct? But prior to that, we all were writing theory exam only. Our objective type questions were limited to a certain number. It has always been. So it's not something that we are making some change in the exam pattern. You shall take it that we are retaining our exam pattern as it was. Last year was an exception. If you think that way, then there is no question of having too much of theory. Correct. Theory was has always been there since the beginning of this course. Correct. So now what the pattern we are trying to have is that first 20 marks will be objective type questions. That is A, B, C, D choice is given to the student and you have to choose from A, B, C, D. The next 20 marks will be objective question, but there is no option given to the student. So it is like fill in the blanks or one line answer or one sentence answer or a simple problem which has a simple answer. But that answer needs to be written by the students on his own. So they will have to prepare or they will have to come prepared to solve that question or read that question and know the answer. There is no option available. That are next 20 marks. So this cover for first 40 marks of the examination out of 60. So out of 60, 40% is your objective. So if you are able to score more in the objective, then you need not worry about uh, the remaining part itself. Correct. Then you need only the passing marks in the rest 60. The only thing that we have added this time is that there is going to be a time lock for first 40 marks. So currently what we are planning is that first 40 marks section, we are calling it as a section A and section B. Uh, they will get locked after 55 minutes. Correct. So for first 55 minutes, you have to concentrate your entire learning to solve the objective type questions. So once the 55 minutes are over, then you will be shifting to the rest 60 marks and which is theory or theory in the sense, which is a descriptive type of questions. Now in that we have done two sections, section C and section D. Correct. Section D is case studies. So there will be one or two case studies. And on each case studies, there will be four questions. So what we are currently contemplating that there will be two case studies. Every case study will have four questions of two marks, two and a half marks each. So 10 marks for one case study, 10 marks for other case study like that. So this is going to be more or less theory type of answer. So case studies will be there and then there will be questions. Questions can be practical problem questions also or questions can be theory questions also. But they are smaller questions. They are two and a half marks questions. So you are not expected to write too much. What we are trying to understand is students' ability to read a case study and then answer the questions on it. So more analytical kind of skill development for the student at inter as well as final level, we are expecting it. We all have to remember that the ICW examination since long, long time, the quantum of answer is not important. The correctness or the message that you want to convey through the answer is important. It can be a 20 marks theory question and you can just write 20 lines for it or maybe even 10 lines for it and still you can secure 20 marks. It is not something like our graduation paper in Maharashtra. We say that Pune University, they give marks by weighing the paper. Correct. I am Pune University silver medal holder in MBA examination. So I know how I used to write papers there, correct there, what, how much you write uh, carries definitely carries a weight in ICW examination. That's not the situation. So it's not question or it's not examination of your typing skills. It's the examination of your knowledge, 
your studies and how better you are able to convey convey it to the uh, examiner so you can just write 10 small points and still you can secure full marks but introducing more descriptive answers is giving even the examiner an opportunity to understand or give you some partial marking in objective time what can happen that either it's correct or it's wrong correct so either you get answer right you get full marks or you get zero marks in descriptive type there are stepwise marks always correct so even if your final answer is wrong you have done say three steps correct you will get 50 percent marks in a descriptive type of evaluation system that is what we are revisiting again so section d will be two case studies section c will be a composition of descriptive as well as problems in case when the question paper or subject is related to the problem or numerical exams then it will cover both now as far as the numericals are concerned what we are attempting if you have seen the question pattern you will see that uh, we are not asking only one answer we are going to ask multiple answers uh, to the same question not the multiple answer or the stepwise answers also so if i am solving say are supposed to give i am just giving an example maybe what is the fixed cost what is the variable cost what is the contribution what are the sales what is your p /E ratio and then you come to the break even point correct what is your so maybe three four answers are required out of the student to check that whether he has really understood it and he has solved the problem now where to solve the problem is as Papan Bhai explained there is going to be rough book available to you you can solve on it and then I don't know the future process that will be given by the institute that whether it shall be submitted back to the uh, center or it you can take it back that's I'm, I'm not really very sure how we will go about it but there is definitely going to be rough paper available to you what we are also requesting uh, the vendor is that they shall make available places for notes also so as rightly explained by Papan Bhai, what is important that your assumptions and presumptions also play a lot of role. This is a professional exam, correct? So when you are going to clear the examination at inter and final level, you are going to be professional. So people are expecting that you will be able to articulate your answers also. So my answer may be wrong, but if my concept is correct or maybe the same question can be approached in theory particularly or when there is a mix of theory and problem, specifically say in case studies, what are your assumptions while answering a particular question are important. So there is going to be rough space available in your online exam system itself, where you can write your assumptions, where you can write your presumptions, when you are right, what background you are taking to answer the questions and everything will be considered by the examiner when he is evaluating. So these are the things that are going to change in the examination pattern per se so i would rather say that we are following our routine exam pattern if it would have been a pen paper exam whatever you would have done maybe 70 percent of it you have to do online it's not exactly the pen paper kind of a thing because many things we are not able to do in online like uh, i always used to give an example that when i appeared my mba examination I used to write a lot of Sanskrit, Hindi, Marathi proverbs in any, any answer. So it can be maybe a question paper on law. But I used to correlate my answer of law with some Sanskrit story, write the story in Sanskrit and then explain it in English. And that's how I scored marks. Correct. It's not that I scored marks by writing typical answers. Correct. That's how we used to study when I used to appear for my MBA examination. That's why I got the marks. So, this may not be possible in online examination as of now as of now i am saying but maybe few attempts down the line we will reach there also that we will have multiple language keyboard and you can write whatever you want along with your english answers correct i am not saying that that is not a possibility that can be a possibility later on but as of today it's english typing that uh, you have to do and not expected to write huge answers also to the point crisp answers you write you take guidance from your faculty that's what precisely uh, you are here for correct for the students that you are here to learn how to answer and the answer need not be big you will be able to answer if need be if situations are very bad containment zones are there 
council is always ready to consider for online uh, sorry home based online also i am uh, reading so many questions sir don't uh, conduct uh, uh, home based ella workum oru student ayirunnu ella workum oru platform madhi all require only one platform sir conduct only center based so as of now the guideline or the communication sent is center based correct if need be because this is exactly what neera joshi sir also argued or debated on behalf of the student what will happen if a student that particular center became we don't know third wave fourth wave so many things are coming might come so depending upon the situation ramya okay we may conduct home based online also but my only information to the existing students who might have already written i don't know or they are going to be freshers be honest to what you do in the examination hall combined study is very good but combined writing the examination is not huh? because proctor is identifying we have pulled up we means not we the computer system everything has got and some of the children are facing department with so many things are happening why we should do that maximum possible we will file nobody will cut our head na and why to indulge in some activity and waste one or two years or three years and get a bad name in front of parents and friends and other colleagues please be very honest don't worry about the computer and the camera in front of you above all of us there is one cctv which is watching please remember that integrity is doing the right thing even when nobody is watching integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching well that maintain the examination discipline that is are we no